Hi, this is Cody with Engine Tech here to talk to you about head gaskets. We do offer the composite head gaskets for some of your earlier applications, and then we also have the multi-layer steel or MLS gaskets for a lot of your newer applications. As we all know, this does seal between the cylinder head and the block, so the surfaces of the cylinder head and the block do need to be smooth and level, and it has to be precise. So if you do not have the capabilities of doing this at your location, we do highly recommend taking it to your local machinist to do that work for you. Head gaskets are designed to fail in extreme situations. So it is the first indicator that you have a problem with your engine, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that is what's causing the failure in the first place. Was there anything else in the engine going on that caused that failure? And what can you do to, to fix that so that you don't have any, any uh, engine failure going forward? When you do have your surfaces appropriately finished when it comes to installation, every application is different. So you wanna take a look at the, the gaskets as you take them off of the engine. Uh, take note of the orientation of it, where how it goes in, that way whenever you put in the replacements, you know that you can put them in the same way. You'll want to take a look at the gaskets. A lot of the times they'll give you some kind of hint as how to put it in. For instance, in this specific MLS gasket, it does have uh, where it shows you where this part, this end goes to the front of the engine. Some of them will tell you where which goes up or it'll say top, meaning that it goes towards the cylinder head. Uh, you just gotta take a look at, at, depending on what vehicle you're going into to, to know which one you're using. Uh, this composite happens to be for a 350, so it does not have any markings because it has, uh, we do have elastomer that goes around the fire, uh, around everywhere that has to be sealed. It's a raised surface for that purpose. And so this one can actually go either way. So you just have to pay attention to the way you're pulling it off. And uh, another thing, one of the greatest tools you can have for rebuilding an engine is going to be your repair manuals. You can get those at your, your local parts store online, but we highly recommend that as well because whenever you're putting these on, uh, most of your engines today are also going to require head bolts that are uh, torque to yield head bolts, meaning that they do stretch and they're only good for one use. So. It's not only that you have to get them to the right torque, but you have to torque them down in the, in the correct sequence as well. So that's where your repair manuals are gonna come in handy. Uh, there's not really one location you can go for all of that stuff, unless you have a subscription to one of the uh, online services. So the best thing to do if you're just working on one, on your vehicle only, uh, best thing to do is get that repair manual for your vehicle that'll have uh, all the information that you'll need. If you don't get anything else from our video, we want you to remember three things. So make sure that your surfaces are machined adequately and smooth and level, that you're also uh, addressing any other issues that may have caused the leak in the first place, and follow your repair manuals for exact instructions for your application. So stay tuned for next week for our next video.